sector, let's head to health. But the Minister of Health, Kwekwaji Maimeno, is saying that he is unable to give a timeline as to when the Ministry of Finance will finish with a financial clearance exercise that will pave way for the employment of some nurses who are picketing the health ministry. The members of the Coalition of Unposted Government Nurses have been picketing the ministry since yesterday. They are vowing not to leave until government provides them with jobs. Maxwell Agbaba was with them and now reports. There are two groups of uh, nurses, you know, here at the Ministry of Health. And um, the two groups are actually, uh, well, for one of the groups, they are picketing. For the other, they are here for um, a data capturing um, exercise. So for the group that you see behind me, um, they are a group of unposted um, private nurses. And they are here for um, their data to be captured, for them to be um, posted. There's less action here. Now let's take you to where the action is, where the picketing is happening, right here on this compound. So uh, this is the Ministry of Health uh, compound. One compound, two different things happening. Um, this group actually um, is the coalition of unposted government nurses. And they are here because they say that their colleagues, um, private nurses, are embarking, uh, I mean, have been engaged in this data capture exercise, which means that they will be posted very soon. They are angry because they completed school um, in 2015 and they are yet to be posted. And that is why they are here. Uh, I mean, they've been here yesterday, they are here today, and they are still protesting. So this is what is going on. This is not a full number. I'm told that some of them um, at the Fort Sutherland Children's Park, they are there because yesterday some police officers came here and they claim that they were manhandled by the police officers. A lot of the workers here are not too excited about this situation because it doesn't really create a conducive atmosphere for them uh, to work here. Let's get close up and speak to some of them right now. Since uh, uh, our year of completion, we completed 2016. And we have submitted several petitions to the minister concerning our posting. And they have given us sick promises, sick promises sick every day every day that we come. They will say that they are working on our things, they are working on our issues. Every day, that's what they keep us telling us. We came out with a press release that we want them to state clearly that when are we going to be posted. So in the evening, the police came and beat us and sacked us here. So we slept somewhere. We, two of us are in the hospital. The hospital. You said two of your people, two of you guys. I'm in the hospital, currently, and one was with the police. The real police commander himself was also here. Two of us are in the hospital, and we are just caring for them. Every two of they chase and they run away. For now, we don't know where some of them are. The minister shouldn't be hypocrite. They, should be, they are hypocrites. These people, but this particular body was there. They went ahead and posted the 2015 bat. Yeah, yeah. They posted them 2016. They never said that uh, yeah, private yeah. nurses are there. Now it is our turn. They want to abandon us and post private yeah, nurses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's affecting us so much psychologically, emotionally, everything we do. Because um, your parents have suffered enough to send you to school, complete and come back and put your burdens on them. In fact, it's not easy at all. Sometimes we, are, we get frustrated. My mom used to call me a bit of because I always go to her to request for money. So if I don't ask money from her, I will not get money to buy anything for myself. So we are pleading on the government that they should do something fast to post all of us. And I also plead on them that they shouldn't pay nurses to stay in the house for long again. Because the more we stay in the house, the more we forget things. So that's why I'm begging the government to work, to post all of us immediately. Someone posted nurses there. It's quite a, a spectacle. But that report was filed by Maxwell Agbaba. And he's also been speaking to the health minister, Kwekwajima Menu, who says he's unable to give a timeline, that timeline that the nurses are demanding. Let's hear him. I just don't understand what is happening. Throughout last year, there was picketing, a lot of it, from month to month. The argument was the fact that they were bonded people in school and therefore the government was compelled to 
recruit them after the school. In that respect, the previous government was compelled to recruit only them without taking cognizance of those who are attending private nursing schools. These are schools that have been accredited by the National Accreditation Board. And after school, they have the same certificates and professional practicing I mean, certificates from Nurses and Medical Free Council so that they are on equal basis. But just because one group attended public schools, they claim that they are like royals. And so those from the private schools should not be employed whilst they were sitting home. Now, they sought audience with the president. I was called to the flat staff house. I explained the matter. But I showed the president that this year, this bonded clause will no more be in the system. So we will treat all of them on the same platform because we have the same certificates. Irrespective of which school that you attended, you can now apply to get a job. Yeah. It is this data capture exercise that started. And then all of a sudden, those who claim they went to public schools mm. and have all rights and privileges to be employed over the others. Mm. Yesterday, I was in here. In the afternoon, when I came back from Kolebu, mm. there was a mayhem here. And no amount of persuasion will convince them to go away. Find out. Um, so these people, this batch completed in the year 2016. Yes. And they're saying they've had many meetings um, with you and they were sure that it will be posted yes. very soon. So they should wait. Mm. They are sure that they will be posted very soon, mm. right? Yeah. But before you finished and you got that assurance, mm. some people had been assured earlier. So is the financial clearance bit the only thing um, delaying the process for the twin system batch right now? No, those nothing picketing. is delaying it. Mm. The only thing is that we want to find out those who have sat home for nearly five years, mm. whether they are still waiting for jobs or not. We don't want to leave them behind. Yeah, so for the twin system batch, by middle of... For them, I don't see their problem. Mm. I don't want how, to how so Let me tell you honestly. Yeah. Now, I will do an application to finance. I think I've even got a draft, I mean, request there. Mm. I don't control finance and their timing mm. and what they will do. Last year, from experience, at times they give financial clearance and it will take effect in three months. Yeah. Right, because they are running the budget. And when you're implementing budget, you want to make sure that you don't have overruns in certain quarters. Mm. And I don't speak for them, so I can control them. So if I tell you that I can give benchmarks, I don't think I'll be getting it right. Okay. Health Minister Kwekwajima Menu there with Maxwell Agbaba. Obviously, those answers are not what the uh, unposted nurses are expecting. Hopefully, it will get better. We'll be following that story. It is still developing. We'll bring you more on that. You're still watching The Pulse with me, Gifty Ando, up here.